Great. My name is Robin Quinn. I am the chair of the Women in Technology and Indigenous Women in Technology Scholarships Committee as part of the Urban K. Barber Scholarship Society here in British Columbia. Very proud to be a part of today's announcement of the nine recipients of the 2020 uh, scholarships, uh, $10,000 each. Uh, I do want to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territories of the Coast Salish peoples, the Squamish, the Tsleil-Waututh, and thank you very much for joining us here today. We're at the uh, University Women's Club at Highcroft in Vancouver. Very pleased and we wanted to thank a uh, member and also one of our adjudicators and an active supporter of women in technology, uh, Dali Patera, uh, for helping us to secure this venue. We know it's a challenging time and we did ensure that we had COVID compliant set up. You'll notice that we are sitting far apart and it's hard to chit chat when you're that far apart, but we're doing it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Shirley Kammerling Roberts, who is the chair of the Irving K. Barber Scholarship Society, who joined us today. And I would like to thank Rory Grewer, who is the hardworking program director of the IKB and all of its programs. We began last year's presentation at Science World with a speaker from the very first cohort. And uh, Natella Jafarova, who studies statistics at the University of Victoria, um, told those recipients in 2019 just how much she appreciated the value of this program and beyond a check in the mail. Today, I am very happy and thrilled <laughs> to welcome a speaker to talk about how this uh, program impacts more than just the financial need that it meets. Samreem Ratan was a recipient of the IKB Women in Technology Scholarship in 2019. She has since co-founded a clean tech startup called Moment Energy, where she is repurposing electric vehicle batteries to store renewable energy. Samreen is very passionate about using technology to change the world and started her journey for clean tech with, uh, she started Team Phantom, which was an electric race vehicle at Simon Fraser University. She recently graduated from SFU with a Bachelor of Applied Science in Megatronic Systems Engineering, which I love. <laughs> Samreen, please come up. Thank you so much for that warm welcome, Robin. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for having me here today. It's amazing to see so many beautiful and talented women in the room. I remember being at this award ceremony last year thinking that there's more women in tech here than I'd seen in my engineering classes. So we need to change that. I believe by having role models like all of you here will inspire young girls to see fields like engineering as opportunities. I want young girls to hear about engineers and to imagine someone like them. Women, women of any ethnicity or color. But I want them to not only imagine, but to know women like ourselves. With scholarships like this, I know that we're getting closer to that goal. For myself, the Women in Technology Scholarship allowed me to create and pursue a startup right out of university. I was able to work on it full time without the strain of having to find a part-time job. The startup that I co-founded is called Moment Energy. We're repurposing electric vehicle batteries for sustainable energy storage. And our goal is to take these batteries to remote communities to help them reduce their diesel dependence and to bring in renewable power. I'm working with a team of three wonderful co-founders who I met in, the first, in my first year of engineering. But since we met in an, in an engineering program, I am the only female on the team. One of my goals is to ensure that our first hire brings diversity to the table and that we ensure that our hiring practices include diversity and inclusion. I have a short story about an experience that I had as a co-founder of a Bollywood dance team at SFU. I gave my 100% to that team. It was truly a test bed for my leadership skills and it helped me gain the confidence that I have today as a leader. But there were moments where I doubted myself and my ability to lead. I had a not so great experience with one of the team members and I thought that her thoughts reflected how everyone felt on the team. 
But turns out I was wrong. A, a few days ago, a member of the team sent me a very kind note, and she actually had a class at SFU where she was asked to write about a role model or somebody that she looks up to. And she wrote about me, so I was very moved and surprised by this. But I also realized that as women, it's very easy to be swayed by the opinions of others and to base what other people think um, that's how we feel about ourselves. So I, I just want to urge you all to dig past that and to dig a little deeper and to have more faith in yourselves. Give your best in everything that you do because you never know who you'll inspire in the process. So thank you so much for having me here today. And I'm so proud of all of you. Congratulations on receiving this scholarship. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming out and sharing that with everybody. Uh, it's, uh, I, and I do invite recipients in all the cohorts, and we're gonna, I'm gonna mention it a little later, to connect with each other. Because we all know that there is a strength in numbers. There is power in connection. And by recognizing that you were, you know, when you brought your co-founders together, you knew you'd probably be the only woman, is that let's change that. Let's reach out, let's keep connected. Let's, let's do what the Old Boys Network has been doing for a long, long time. And that is leveraging the expertise in your network. When you need help, pick up the phone and phone someone who's in statistics or someone who's in, you know, medical devices, and you can talk to them about your idea. So I really encourage you to do that, and I encourage all of our cohorts. And I'll just very quickly, uh, Dali came up with an idea that we are going to set up a Slack group for all the cohorts and the adjudicators so that they can all connect, discuss, you can get advice, and we are thrilled to say that it's part of a digital swag bag that we're going to start with you as your cohort, and the first thing in that swag bag will be a membership to the Society of Canadian Women in Science and Technology. So thank you, Dolly, and uh, we'll be in touch with all of the cohort on that uh, detail. So. Today we're celebrating the work and imagination of nine recipients of the scholarship. Unfortunately, not all of them could be with us in person, but we're making sure to share the occasion online. So congratulations to all of you. We will announce alphabetically and ask the recipients in the room to come forward and receive their letter of congratulations. So let's start. So congratulations to Betty Kai from the University of British Columbia. She's in materials engineering. Aldwin Chalwos is in computer science at the University of Victoria. Yay, hometown. Um, Jessica Gunter is in computer engineering technology at Camosun College, congratulations. This is the first year Camosun College has a recipient. Annie Hung, civil engineering, University of British Columbia. Annie, congratulations, and I know that this is an exciting day, and it's part becoming part of this network that, to me, is the most exciting, so. Thank you so much, I'm so grateful for this scholarship and the opportunities that it will bring. Okay, thanks, Annie. It means an incredible amount, I think, that having this scholarship not only opens up so many opportunities, but also it's just such an honor um, to be recognized as well as a role model for women in STEM. Uh, previously, I'd been lucky enough to have amazing women in STEM mentors, um, and I really hope to continue that and apply this scholarship to my studies, but also contribute and give back to society and to the community that has helped me explore STEM and really discover my passion in that. Um, so overall, I hope to inspire younger generations to explore specifically engineering and STEM in general. Sophie Lin, Mechanical Engineering, University of British Columbia, congratulations. Maria Phelan, Engineering Physics, University of British Columbia. Maria, thank you for joining us and congratulations. Thank you very much for the scholarship. 
It is a huge honor to receive this scholarship and I'm very thankful for the opportunity knowing how many inspiring women have gone before me and have received this scholarship. Um, this scholarship is going to open many doors for me. I'd like to put it towards continuing my studies in grad school. I'm very interested in machine learning and I'd like to say thank you very much to everybody who made this possible. Joyce Tang. She's in computer science at the University of British Columbia. I see a trend here. Corey Thinkrell, Trinkel, sorry, civil engineering, University of British Columbia. Svina Yu, engineering physics, University of British Columbia. You can take off that. Yeah, we want to see your face. Svina, congratulations. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for supporting my university. <laughs> and I'm very excited to be part of this exciting network of women. Thank you. Very, very smart acknowledgement of parental investments. Well, it means a lot to me um, to be part of this really amazing network of um, women doing really exciting things. And I would like to perhaps I was very inspired by Samia, Samreen, yeah. Sam, Samreen's uh, entrepreneurship efforts. Yeah. And I know several friends who are doing entrepreneurship and something that deeply excites me as well. So I would love to put this award towards working towards my own startup, my own company, and I think that would be uh, an amazing opportunity. The programs of the Irving K. Barber Scholarship Society are administered by the Victoria Foundation. The Society delivers a series of scholarship and award programs that support BC post-secondary students to achieve their goals, educational goals. Programs include awards for students transferring be between BC public post-secondary institutions, Indigenous students, and students undertaking study, study or work opportunities abroad. Since its inception, the Society has awarded more than $23 million to over 7,000 students in British Columbia. You can go to uh, www.ikbbc.ca backslash women in tech to find out more about eligibility criteria and to apply. There's also a news release that's going out today and that will be available on the website as well. Uh, so congrats again to all the recipients and to our future cohort Get on board.